Namaste and welcome to our In5D Patreon mid-month energy report for March 2023. And you know what? I'm going to make this episode completely free for everyone. Well, <laughs> where do I begin? I was hospitalized after going to the ER for stomach pain and ended up having my gallbladder removed. The doctor who did this sur surgery placed a faulty JP drain in me that wasn't suctioning out the discharge from the operation, which made the pain worse than what it was before I went to the hospital. My nurse practitioner, however, looked at the device and was the one who noticed that it was faulty. My surgeon was in the room and denied any fault by saying the tubes were clogged, not broken. The nurse practitioner showed him directly where the leak was and yet my surgeon still denied it. I have it all on video. The reason I bring this up is because many light workers are targets of the dark. The brighter your light, the bigger a target you become. One thing the dark doesn't like is love and for me that comes in the form of resiliency. It crushes them every time I bounce back. Now speaking of light and energy, one of my hospital roommates, Ron, told me, there's something different about you, Greg. You're destined for fame and I can see you taking off in the future. You know, I didn't expect that from him, but it's not the first time I've heard of it. Matter of fact, when I was being transported to the surgery that drained the infection out of my body, there was a hospital technician, Dutch, who transported me from the hospital room to my surgery room. On the way there, he said, you know, I've brought many people from the hospital room to the surgery room, but I've never experienced such amazing energy from anyone else. There's something very special about you, brother. And I thought that was very kind of him to, to say and completely unexpected. And to top it off, my nurses for the operation, their names were Allie and Brittany, <laughs> my wife and my daughter. So I knew I was in good hands. And I'll tell you what, the pain was worse after the initial gallbladder removal operation than beforehand because of the infection that occurred afterwards due to the faulty apparatus the surgeon put in me. And here's the power of the mind. I was given two Percocets, which is oxycodone and acetaminophen. And it's one of the stronger pain medications available. And I was taking it every four hours. I was starting to feel nauseous and saw that as a sign of opiate withdrawal. So I decided to stop taking the medication and tried meditating it away. Now at the time, my pain level was a nine out of 10. But after meditating throughout the day, it dropped to a three out of 10. And I'm sure that just wasn't me. I had a lot of people sending me Reiki and quantum touch energy, prayers, loving healing energies, etc. So between us all, we brought that pain down substantially. And I want to give a huge shout out to all of you who sent these loving healing energies to me, as well as anyone who helped me on my GoFundMe campaign. And you can find a link for that below the video. It really does make a huge difference when people send you energy. You can tangibly feel it as an empath. And I'm just so grateful for all of you and your support. I love you all. But you know, the bottom line to this is to stay positive, even in the face of despair. The dark hates it and has no defense for resiliency and love. Let's move on to a different topic. Did you guys see the Global Consciousness Project yesterday? Let's check it out. So this is a real-time data analysis of the Global Consciousness Project. It collects data each minute and runs statistics on the stream of random numbers generated by the project. This analysis is run every 10 minutes behind the generation of the data. In this way, it can be seen as a real-time indicator of global consciousness coherence. But what you can't see right here, just a little over 24 hours ago, it was red. And here, I'll put the picture up right now. You can see where we had this sustained period of it being in the red. And when it's in the red, 
what it says, what that actually means is significantly large network variance suggests broadly shared coherence of thought and emotion. So what does this really mean? I drew a couple tarot cards and it showed me all I needed to know. The first card was the Three of Swords, which is heartbreak and emotional pain. The second card was the Star. And together, this shows us that there was something nefarious planned against humanity yesterday, but thanks to the off-worlders, it never happened. That brings me to what happened yesterday and how this all ties in with this month's mid-month energy report. So I'm leaving my mobile home community and was about to pull out into a busy street here in Sarasota. And I looked both ways. And, and, and as I was inching forward, I hear a man yelling at me, hey, you effing a-hole. I can't really say the other words, but you know what I mean. I swear to God, I did not see him. And I felt horrible about it. I ended up turning right, but I did a quick U-turn so I could apologize to him, but he was nowhere to be found. So I ended up going to Publix, which is a chain grocery store here in Florida to pick up my antibiotic medication. So I get out of my car and as I was walking toward the store, this woman zips around the corner and almost hits me. <laughs> so I, I smiled at her and waved and said, hey, it's okay, don't worry about it. And, and she was apologetic on her side of it. I could see that she was saying, I'm sorry to me. But the first thing that came to mind was instant karma, just like what John Lennon spoke about. It wasn't simply a coincidence. The greatest implication of this is that the same applies to the cabal who have kept us enslaved for millennia. Karma is coming for them right now. And that brings us to the Three of Swords and the Star card. We're receiving galactic help and whatever nefarious plans the Cabal has for us will inevitably boomerang back at them in record time. You know, I've used this analogy in the past and it's so true right now. On in5d.com, I have an article called Project Looking Glass Insider Speaks Out. There is an inevitable event coming. And that goes on to say Project Looking Glass Insider was a U.S. military attempt to view the future. They were surprised by what they saw. And some Project Looking Glass discoveries include the choices that we make become less and less consequential to the future. And eventually we're pushed into this bottleneck of time no matter which choice we make. Number two, very smart people began to figure out that something big was coming up. Number three, all possible timelines lead to the same basic set of history in the future. Number four, the elites of the world probably figured out that that was the end of the game and nothing could be manipulated beyond that point. And number five, the timelines will contract down to some inevitable thing. There is an inevitable event on evolution of consciousness. Pretty wild, right? And it goes on to say, basically what we're experiencing right now is two master chess players sitting at the board. And one of them looks down at the board and sees that he's in checkmate in seven moves. And he looks across at his opponent and he knows that his opponent sees it too. So there's no getting out of it at this point the loser can only prolong the game. And we're seeing that with the, you know, the Cabal trying to do this and that. They already know they lost, but they're just trying to bring as many people down as they can with them. Both players know the game is over. It's only a matter of time before he does this, and then you're forced to do this, and then he's forced to do this, and eventually checkmate. We as a race, if we could understand that, the game is over based on the rules of the game. The bad guys have already lost. The good guys have already won. Yet there's moves left on the table, but those moves are being forced by the player that is going to win. What Project Looking Glass is seeing is also what many of us are feeling, that something magnanimous is coming. Now, for years I've written about Pluto and Capricorn and how this will usher in a great transformation for society. It's all about energy and learning from the cycles of time. The current energy is one that has an incredibly strong truth vibration, which is exposing everything the dark agenda is trying to suppress. 
what's happening is that anything that goes against humanity's best interests is boomeranging back at them as they are being exposed almost instantaneously. The end of Pluto and Capricorn could very well be the marker that launches humanity into the Golden Age. And right now we have an incredible event unfolding in which the end result cannot be controlled by the global elites who can do nothing to change the predicted evolution of consciousness. Enjoy the ride, my friends. Many haven't realized it yet, but we've already won. I'm going to wrap it up there. I'd like to thank you all for being part of our beautiful In5D fam Patreon family of 1111 Plus, as well as to those who are watching an In5D Patreon mid-month energy report for the first time. Later on today, I'll be uploading a new guided meditation for the month for Patreon family members of 1111 Plus. This one is on activating your third eye, a third eye guided meditation. So join me on Patreon dot com slash in 5d and i'll put a link down there that's it for now thank you for all your love i'm truly grateful for your support until the next time i'm sending you all infinite love and light from my heart to yours namaste